Hi, welcome to another episode of the You Can Do It channel. I'm Annie and uh, I was in the middle of this project and I don't know if it's ever happened to you where you're kind of in the middle of it and you're like, oh, I don't know, this could be an epic fail. Well, I think mine was going to be an epic fail. Just see what I'm talking about. applying the Schluter Curdy system membrane to the interior of this shower. I've done it one time before upstairs in the uh, bathroom that the kids share. And to be honest with you, I just, I wasn't digging it. I, I didn't like the system. I know it was an extra waterproof barrier, but really to be quite honest with you, there's these fibers on this side, fibers on that side. And, and I just thought, man, those little fibers are holding up the weight of my tile. And if those fibers don't grab on both sides, the side that's attached to the uh, hardy backer and the side that's attached to the tile, if those don't grab, your tile's falling off. So I didn't like it then and really, you know, I, I wasn't digging it now. And so I thought, you know, I pull it off, just pull it off. So I did. So, you know, Schluter Curdy, we're breaking up. I, I'm sorry not liking it. And in fact, if you look at YouTube videos, there are dozens of videos where Schluter Curdy failed. And uh, you know, to be honest with you, we all didn't install it incorrectly. And in fact, uh, let's see, I uh, wiped down my hardy backer with water, uh, moistened it. I put uh, the thin set mortar on it, eighth inch trowel. I applied my hardy, or I'm sorry, my Schluter Curdy sheets in small sections, manageable. I uh, used a trowel to wipe out and get rid of, squeegee out all the air bubbles and, and still just not digging it. So instead, um, so that was a lot of supplies, a lot of tools, trowels, mortar, you name it, not to mention the, the expense of the product itself. And then uh, I started doing some research and I'm like, you know what, this is better. And what I mean is, let's see, oh, I don't know, a three eighths inch nap roller and some waterproofing red guard. It is 4.9 star rated with thousands of people rating it. And instead of that whole laborious process of the Schluter Curdy, you roll this stuff on and you're done. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, I am standing in a finished shower. That was crazy simple. For the cost of a throwaway paintbrush, a throwaway roller, and one tub of Red Guard. So all together, Red Guard, 50 bucks, throwaway roller and paintbrush, maybe another five bucks. I was into it, maybe $60 with tax. And uh, it's finished. It's ready for that next step, which is of course tiling. Uh, I did go ahead since I had them. I used the Schluter Curdy valve uh, 
um, sealer and the shower head sealer and I did also have some corner pieces in there so I put those in as well. Per Red Guard's uh, recommendation, I have two full coats on here. When it's completely cured, it's this nice dark red. The rest of this is of course in varying stages of curing and drying, so it should all be this color when it is completed. And I really like this texture. It's a rubberized, almost like a rubberized mat, uh, like a Rhino Guard on the back of your pickup truck. That's kind of what this is like. Uh, so I'm real excited to see how it turns out with the tiling. I don't want to knock Schluter Curdy uh, system, but when I went on to YouTube and saw all the other epic fails of that system, I didn't feel so bad anymore because I didn't like it. Uh, I'm believing that the bathroom I did upstairs is just going to last me forever, but um Really, I mean, to be quite honest with you, I didn't even have to do this because the hardy board in itself is a really good system just to go ahead and, you know, seal the joints and then and then slap your tile on. People have been doing that for quite some time. Um, the only problem is, is that, of course, if moisture does get behind it, uh, because this is a cement fiber board, it does wick up moisture. It'll swell. And then, yes, you're going to have issues with your tile. That's why you never sink your hardy board into your shower pan. Never. Always have it right up at the lip. Do a really good sealer on the bottom of that. As Chris did, he sealed all of the joints here with the concrete sealer so that, you know, where the joints are and the base, water will never penetrate there. And I'm believing now with this red guard, I'm good to go. So join me next time when I start this tile project. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notifications. Go into our playlist titled Bathroom Remodel and you can see everything we've done so far in this bathroom. Thanks so much for watching.